How's it going, everybody? Poser Mobile here, bringing you an absolute banger list of games coming to PlayStation Plus Extra and Premium on May 21st. Starting off, we've got a game which really doesn't need any explanation. It's Red Dead 2. As usual, I will look at this and tell myself that I'll finish this plat someday, but in reality, it's a 5 out of 10 with a 200-hour plat, and that's probably not going to happen. Next up, we've got Deceive Inc., and it's only for PS5. This is a multiplayer game in the same vein as The Ship, and unfortunately, there aren't many people playing it anymore, so the trophies are going to be tough to get without somebody boosting with you. You're looking at a 6 out of 10 for this, and probably well over 100 hours. Next up, we've got The Sims 4 City Living. This is just DLC for The Sims 4, and there's no trophies associated, but you can grab The Sims 4 for free on the PlayStation Store, so that's something. Next up, we've got Crime Boss Rock A City, another one only on PS5. This is a weird cross between a roguelike and payday, and you can expect this to have the same kind of plat as Deceive, about a 6 out of 10 for difficulty and well over 100 hours to finish. Next up, we've got The Settlers New Allies. This is a strategy game, and it's been out for over a year now, and nobody has got the platinum yet, so don't go in thinking you'll be the first. The trophies are a buggy mess. Next up, we've got Stranded Alien Dawn. This is a planet survival sim and yet another game in the same vein as the ones before. You're looking at a 7 out of 10 for difficulty, and this is another one with a plat that takes well over 100 hours to finish. Next up, we've got Cat Quest and Cat Quest 2. This is a little ARPG series, and you're looking at about a 3 out of 10 difficulty and only around 6-ish hours to finish each game. Next up, we've got the LEGO Movie 2 video game. If you've played any of the other LEGO games before, you know what you're getting into. Essentially two playthroughs, an easy 2 out of 10 difficulty, and this is one of the shorter ones at only around 20 hours to finish. Next up, we've got the first Watch Dogs game. This is another one I tell myself I'll get, but just keep putting off. It's relatively easy at only 4 out of 10 difficulty and about 40 hours to finish, but there's a few online trophies which hopefully should be easier to get while this game is available for PS Plus. Alright, time to get to what is usually my favorite part of PS Plus Month. We've got three new classics coming to PS Plus Premium, and as usual, I have no idea whether they're going to get trophy lists or not. First, we've got 1996's Too Extreme. It's got just about every extreme mode of sport you can think of, from snowboards to rollerblades. So all you Brink fans out there should be excited for this one. Next, we've got 1997's G Police. It's this weird combat flight sim inspired by Blade Runner and made by the people who made Wipeout. Finally, we've got 1999's Worms Pinball. It was included in Worms Blast in the UK and never made it to the States, which itself was a cut-down version of Addiction Pinball, which was included with the Worms Armageddon collection. So there you have it. This month's PS Plus Premium and Extra Games. There's a ton of really long, relatively annoying, and difficult Platinums to get, and the Classics catalog leaves a lot to be desired. If I had to pick just one to get excited about, it's probably Cat Quest just because it's doable, but let me know in the comments down below which games you'll be going for the Platinum in.